Foxy to Fox 110. I'm quitting because I have my own video ideas I want to make on my new channel. And I don't like uploading on this channel anymore just because I like my new channel better. And I'm busy and I have my own video ideas. And if I do do reaction videos, it's going to be ones that I chose to react to myself. But I don't really have that many plans to make reaction videos anymore. Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. <clears throat> don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And the link to the reaction video. I mean, the link to the original video will be in the description of my video. I do not own this video. It belongs to SSS Sniper Wolf. But my friend Foxy wanted me to react to it. And it's called Funniest Kid Test Answers Number 5. I reacted to these type of videos before, like... I reacted to a funny video with BHD reacting to funny kid dancers. These are funny. Anyway, let's get started. Hello friends, it's me, your favorite fluffy YouTuber. I've got some good news for you guys today. We've upgraded the closet a little. Mm -hmm. New I pillow, who this? Now I can lounge about in comfort while I do my video. We've suffered far too long. Anyways, today we're gonna be checking out some funny kids test answers. I used to do these videos all the time and you guys have been asking for more, so here you go. Merry Christmas, Austin. Hands are for touching balls. Yes, 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 yeah. Hands are for it. That's. I know what he's talking about, but I'm not gonna say what I think he's thinking about because it's inappropriate. Hands can definitely be used for touching balls. We've all done it. You've done it. Your mom has done it. Your dad has done it. Your sister has done it. Your mailman has done it. Your teachers have all done it. We've all touched balls. Thank you, Austin. Thank you for educating us. Back. List at least five things that are almost always white. Sheep, cloud, Disney princess. <laughs> All white? That sounds racist. <laughs> Damn, savage. No, that's not true. Princess Jasmine. She was not white. But I guess most of them are. <coughs> and Tiana wasn't either. <coughs> Snow White, I'm looking at you. How is a child similar to his or her father? In what ways do you copy what your father says or does? My father is fat, just like me. <laughs> That's the saddest story I ever heard. Dad's fat, I'm fat. Dad like hamburger, I like hamburger. Relatable. Draw a wrong triangle. The moon landing was staged by the government. No triangle. That's wrong. Shut up. <laughs> what? Draw a wrong triangle. Triangle, you wrong. Shut up. No, I'm not. Damn, that triangle told you. Imagine you getting told by a triangle, you square. <laughs> a reporter from a national newspaper wants to know all about you. Answer as honestly as you can. What city were you born in? These nuts. What? These nuts? I'm not I've sure if I... people say that before, but it's honestly not that funny anymore, but... Heard of that. Is that in Florida? Elephants are strong. Elephants have long trunks. Elephants like to eat penis. <laughs> That's disgusting. It's so innocent, no, but <laughs> come on. We all know they meant peanuts. Peanuts. The nuts. Do elephants actually eat peanuts or no? I read somewhere that elephants didn't actually like peanuts. I know, like, what? They're so big. How could they possibly live off of peanuts? Peanuts. I remember the time me and my mom were on a McDonald's drive-thru and we ordered hot fudge sundaes and the guy was like, you want some peanuts with that? We were like, what? Peanuts. Do you want some peanuts with that? And we were like, yuck. No, 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 thank you. Like this peanuts. girl over here did a school project about her role model and she did it on the colonel, the KFC colonel himself. Who is he? A businessman. He is the owner of Kentucky Fried Chicken KFC. He did his own business. I feel like I'm saluting wrong. Has to be with this hand, huh? I'm going to run my own business like him. He is old, but I am young. We have a big age gap. He is dead, but I am not. He was very popular, but I am not popular. I think KFC is still popular. I don't care what you say. KFC best fried chicken. I mean, all the girls in our class probably did like Ariana Grande or Jojo what? Siwa. And she out here paying her respects to the colonel. What is your father's name? Derek. How old is he? 31. How tall is he? 99 feet. Feet. What color is his hair? Brown. What does your father do at work? Everything. What is his favorite no drink? drink? Beer. What is his favorite food? Steak. What is his favorite? What kind of 
activity is this? Does the teacher a woman who wants to date their father or see if their father's available to date or something? That, or is this like a Father's Day activity or what is this? Bobby sleeping. It's his favorite TV show. Man, Survivor. What does your father like to cook? Nothing. Where does your father like to go? Home. <laughs> this is the most honest interview I've ever seen. Why is the teacher gonna assign someone like this? Like, what if you got no dad? Right, an A for everything. When was the last time you heard about your dad? My mom told me when he was three years old, he went to the grocery store to get milk, and he'd been lost ever since. Now, but for real, why is the teacher gonna assign someone like this? Like, meet my dad. You trying to meet my dad? Me as a teacher. <laughs> Here's a bunch of numbers. Illustrate this using a stem and leaf diagram. Here's a flower. Here's a leaf and here's a stem. The teacher marked them wrong and was like, yes? <laughs> Damn, even I know what a stem and leaf diagram is. Oh my god, that's like ancient. Y'all kids still learning that? Yes, that, well that is a stem and a leaf, but like... Not what I wanted. Describe your dad. Fat. Wow, rude. Failed. There's so many adjectives you could have used. And the word you decide to use. I found the ball of fluff on me. In which battle did English King Richard III die? His last battle. Hit. <laughs> so simple. Duh. What is the main reason for divorce? Marriage. Wrong. F. For divorce? Uh, complications in marriage. 100% for creativity. Hell yeah, as long as you get that creativity. But wait, why does it say F? Does 100% not actually count? Is fake points? It's like Reddit of votes in real life. They don't actually count. No, but for real though, what is the main reason for divorce? I need to know this. I don't remember learning about this stuff in school. And why are these on the same test? What is the main My reason for- parents are divorced. Divorce. Infidelity. That's what it says is number one. Number two, money. Number three, lack of communication. I, I, but you know, marriage. That answer was just too good. You can't fail my dude for thinking out of the box. I feel like that shouldn't be allowed. If you go think out of the box and be creative like this, like a teacher shouldn't be able to like mark you wrong. Even if you might be wrong, but you're right in another universe. You feel me? Write a mini article about a person who inspires you. Meet my hero. Steak. It makes me calm. And it is my favorite food. That's I only like well, so but pink in steak. the middle. Wow, a very seasoned child. Like a child going talk about oh I like my steak well but like pink in the middle while everybody else in his third grade class eating burgers he eating steak I've never heard of a kid eating steak I don't even think I've had steak when I was a kid hmm. have you had steak when you were a kid do they not give steak to kids because one it's expensive two it's like there's chewy parts and they can't like chew it down I know I hated that you don't give filet mignon to a six-year-old unless y'all millionaires you give them a burger they Gucci comment below did you have steak when you were a kid I didn't closest yes. thing we had a steak was ground beef. It's all from the same cow. My mom worked hard today. She deserves a microwaved hot dog. <laughs> don't we all, don't we all after a hard day of work deserve a microwaved hot dog. It's like congrats Billy, you got all A's on your report card. Mama gonna make microwave hot dogs. Like y'all couldn't even put it in the toaster oven. You know, that's probably a life hack. After microwaving a hot dog, put it in a toaster oven, then it get all crispy and stuff. That's how I make them, and they come out hella good. Imagine that you lived at the same time as Abraham Lincoln. What would you say to him or ask him? I'd tell him not to go to a play ever. Oh, I've seen this <laughs> one before. It's funny. I look at you, pat you on the head, and flex on you with his 10-foot tall hat. Boy! If you were president like me, you would go to a play too. Plays are epic. You are not epic. One day later. Abraham Lincoln, dead. Rest in peace, Abraham Lincoln. And scramble the letters. Sish, swish, swish, swish. Shrat, shart. Lazum, small. Ass neck, neck. AKA, you. <laughs> you know, I would take you to the movies, but they don't let you bring snacks. <laughs> That's hella cute. Use that on your crush. No, but for real though, what can that word be unscrambled into? It can only be sharp. Tarsh. Harshed. I'm sorry. It's 3 a.m. right now. I have no idea. Please unscramble it for me. My brain has shut down three hours ago. Please unscramble it for me in the comments below. <laughs> Write a sentence. Underline the nouns. One day, my mom farted with delight because she was sick. <laughs> Epic story, bro. I wonder if this actually happened. My mom farted with delight because she was sick. <laughs> do you do that when you're sick? 
Do you fart with delight or do you fart in shame? Comment below, I need to know. Because when I fart when I'm around people, it's like a constant struggle. Like, they smell that. Some Is that that that's that's disgusting. Uh, do it in private. Do you know the reason why everyone chooses a royal origin? Because royal fan- Oh my god, I, I did it a little too close that time. They definitely smelled it. They gonna know it's me. They gonna call me out on it. I am uncomfortable. Can we go? When are shrub plants most likely to catch fire? During a fire? Duh. What? <laughs> I mean, if I, if I was a teacher and I was graded some homework, and that's how I can answer like this. It really gets you to think. Like, when is a shrub most likely to catch fire? Like, during a fire, it's already on fire. I don't even know shrubs catch on fire. Are you telling me my front yard is not safe? My front yard is a Fire hazard? What is the main idea of this passage? Fires can be good! Cause mom's petunias are hideous. May they burn! <laughs> Use a crayon to color each vertex of your polygon. How many vertices did you color? Answer. Six. What is the name of the polygon you drew? Carl. <laughs> Hi Carl. You got some fine vertices. I mean the teacher kind of worded this wrong. What is the name of the polygon that you drew? It ain't no pentagon, ain't no hexagon, ain't no octagon. It's my polygon. I created this That's monster funny. and I shall name it. And I name him Carl. Describe two events that are impossible. I will never die. I will eat potatoes. <laughs> oh! Relatable. <laughs> I will never die. I will eat potatoes, but are they related? Wait, two events that are impossible. I will eat potatoes. Are you like allergic to potatoes? Do you not like potatoes? So it is impossible if you eat potatoes. What, what What's going on here? We got this kid thinking he's immortal or something. So if you eat all the potatoes, you'll never die. Or if you don't eat the potatoes, you won't. What number does 300 plus 70 plus 2 equal? A lot. True, true, true. It is a lot, but come on, man. Of all the questions you decide to get wrong, this is the most simple. There's so many zeros. 372. Mm, epic math skills. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure... Have you had... Oops, sorry. Click out of that video by accident. Oops, I'm accidentally clicking on random videos. What was the rest of that? Have you? No, wrong thing. Ugh. Well, I mean, okay, let's see. Hello, friends! Events that. So, if you. Potatoes. What? Oh! I have like math skills. But, anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button in the face! And make sure you subscribe, Jen the Wolf Pack! Like